This is Adventurer for Life. I'm Joel. Today we're going to look at the attitude indicator on the dashboard or the, uh, the video screen uh, showing both the pitch and the roll of the vehicle as we drive on various inclines and sideways across some hills. See you out there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to put it into or light up or show the attitude indicators. And so just in the Apple CarPlay screen, you can hit Enios and then you can hit the off road button. And it takes a second when you do that, and you have several options attitude, temperature of the transmission, and various things. This is the breadcrumb pathfinder uh, uh, capabilities, which I have not tried. Some various statistics and an electrical statistics. So I'm going to hit attitude, and we're going to see these attitude indicators. And so this obviously is pitch, and this is roll, as you see down there. And currently I'm at a one degree positive pitch and a 10 degree roll to the left. So we're going to try just going down this same hill that I've been going down. Again, I'm in low center diff locks, first gear, and we're just going to watch to see what the range of this is. And I haven't looked in the manual. I don't know that it shows exactly what it is, but you see these indicators. I'm down to 18 degrees. I think this is going to get to maybe 20 or 21. There's 21 degrees, 24 degrees, and it did not go all the way to the end of what it's you know seems to indicate is acceptable so i'm going to sh show you something real quick so if you look here the bright part of the of this gauge that i think is kind of the green area you know you're good and you're not going to flip over and then if you can see it and maybe you can't on the camera there's two bars on each end of this that I think is probably the caution or the yellow area. Then outside of that, supposedly, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't go on something that's steep. And then here, uh, you got the same thing for the roll. So I've done some playing with this already. The roll, it looks like you have about 22 degrees of roll and about 28 degrees of pitch. And I don't have, I do have something that's going to show us the 22 degrees of roll. Uh, I think I'm only going to go to 24, 25 degrees of pitch because, you know, that's that's what I've got on this property. Um, the guys, um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to a training class in a couple of weeks, put on by Overland Experts, who are the guys that rode with us during the preliminary off-road driving day. And one of those guys told me that they had tested a Grenadier all the way to 35 degrees of I think of roll anyway we're gonna find out I think what the limits are then but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna climb this hill and we're gonna see um, again what the pitch is and how steep this is and I think this is probably the steepest part of it here so I'm at 13 19 20 19 so you see I still got quite a bit of range even when I was up to 20 degrees of pitch I had quite a bit of range. So I'm going to now turn across this hillside here and we're going to be watching the roll. So I'm now at 17 degrees of roll, 18 degrees of roll. And uh, you see I've still got a ways to go per the gauge and honestly I, I get real uncomfortable when you know I'm laid over sideways like this, but this typically, but this is not bad at all. I'm at 19 degrees and you can see again that I'm pretty close to the limit. It's going to go up a little bit more here. I'll show you what it looks like out there. There's 23 degrees and that's about the limit on the gauge. Now there is the caution area. There's 23 degrees again, 24 degrees, wow. Um, but I definitely feel comfortable and in this thing and again when I go to this Overland Experts thing in a couple of weeks and I'm going to be able to video from there 
I will, I think we'll test test the limits. Now we're gonna drive my car. So we'll go test them to the limit that I'm comfortable with because if the car rolls, then that's on me. All right, now we're gonna try the pitch. And this, this hill that we're coming up to is both gonna show us something about approach and departure angle. And it's also gonna show us something about pitch. So I fiddled with this a little bit yesterday and I think it went to 25 degrees. And so you see kind of, okay, 19, 24, 25, you know, just for a second there. And, you know, it still had room left on the gauge. So uh, personally, I'm thrilled to have these gauges because, um, you know, again, I've been to Moab multiple times and you're in some vehicle and you have no idea what the angle is. You have the feeling in your gut and the feeling in your heart like, oh, I'm gonna die or whatever it is, but you don't really know. So it's nice to have some indicators that call out clearly, hey, here's what the limits are and here's what's acceptable. Now, I'll say one more thing and then I'll be done for today. Um, I plan on putting a um, cargo, uh, a full, I've got a full cargo rack that's going on top of this thing and I'm gonna put a rooftop tent on it and blah, blah, blah. Well, that obviously changes these numbers some. So how much of that they took into consideration, hopefully I'm gonna find out when I go to this Overland Experts training. But, um, you know, so there's, I, I think these indicators, I'm sure they have some slop and some safety built into them because they're not gonna just show this gauge and, and run it to the absolute limit or people will start rolling their vehicles and suing, you know, Enios and all that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, hope you learned something from that. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next week.